Hello, my friends. Welcome to Nurturing Faith. I'm out here beside Davis Hall, and I'm walking on what would be maybe close to what I think or imagine might be walking on the Emmaus Road. That would have been a road from Jerusalem to this little town called Emmaus that the disciples, a couple of disciples, was walking on. And in our message today, in the story that I'm going to talk about today, uh, Jesus is appearing to many of his disciples and those around the disciples after his resurrection. And so there are stories happening everywhere. And in today's story, which is based on the gospel according to Luke, chapter 24, this story starts about verse 36. But you actually could start reading from the beginning of, of Luke, chapter 24, found in the New Testament part of your Bible, uh, to see this, to read about this story of Jesus' encounter with a couple of his disciples who didn't even recognize him on this road as they traveled from Jerusalem because they were on their way to Emmaus to tell the people there that Jesus was still alive. And what, wow, that was amazing. What, what a miracle. But it was just as Jesus had promised. Anyway, as, we travel, as they traveled on this road, a man joined them on the journey. And they didn't recognize Jesus. And he wanted it that way for the moment. And so as the disciples were walking along and talking to each other and this stranger comes up, they invite, he walks along and he says, what, what are you talking about? Did I hear you say something about something amazing that happened? And so the, the two disciples, they look at this guy and they go, where have you been? You, you haven't heard about Jesus of Nazareth who was put to death on a cross and now three days later he's walking around appearing to people? He's alive. How, how could you not know this? And the stranger was like, I, I, I don't understand. This is news to you? Wow, tell me more. And so they walked along and they talked and then they got a little tired. Well, they made their journey to Emmaus and they invited the stranger to say, you know, well, why don't you stay and eat with us? And so he did. And they sat down. Maybe they weren't quite to Emmaus yet. And they sat down to eat with this stranger. And when they sat down and the man picked up the bread that they were about to have. They were going to have a meal of bread and fish. And they, he broke the bread. And in that moment of this man they had met on the road, spent this time with talking and sharing the story of what happened, they suddenly recognized him. It was, oh my gosh. You're Jesus. And Jesus is looking at them, smiling. Yes, he is Jesus. He is alive. And they were so excited. Can you imagine? They've been walking with this stranger all this time and they didn't recognize him. Well, as soon as they recognized him, the stranger who had smiled at them upon recognition disappeared. And they looked at each other, and even though it was getting late, they decided they needed to go back to Jerusalem to tell the disciples what they had seen. So they pick up and they head back to Jerusalem. I'm sure that they probably were running quite fast so that they could get to the, to the place where the disciples were in the house, in a room, to tell them, oh, we just met Jesus on the road. And as they were sharing their story, they were saying, oh, we don't believe you. You saw Jesus. 
Everybody keeps saying they see Jesus. We haven't seen Jesus yet. And as soon as they started to tell the story, there he was. Peace be with you. And they were like, who said that? And they looked and there stood Jesus. And he talked to them and he invited them to come and touch him to see that he wasn't a ghost. He was real. He was flesh and blood. Touch me. And then even more to convince them, he said, do you have anything to eat? And they offered to him broiled fish and bread and he ate of it. No ghost would be eating. And so everybody was astonished. Yes, they had met Jesus right there, right then. Oh, wow. If I could have been there, the excitement. But you know what, my young friends? I do feel that same excitement because I see that spirit of Jesus in each one of you. When you're kind to each other, when you run up to greet me and to greet one another, it's like that is the spirit of what it's all about. Also in those times, so that people could be sure to recognize one another. And you, you've heard me talk about eating fish and bread a couple of times here. Fish became a symbol for the early church when the church first started and they were spreading the word. And so there will be times that in order to recognize one another, they would sit down. We talked about this a little bit last week, a secret password. And so somebody would make a half a circle on the ground. And if the other person was also a disciple, a follower of Jesus, they would come up and they too would make a half circle. And when they made the half circle, it looked like a fish that we know in the church as ichthus is the Greek word for it. And they used this symbol to identify themselves to each other. Because also if the Roman soldiers were about to come, they could quickly erase it and no one would be in trouble. I wanted to share this story with you today and the symbol of the fish because it's still very prominent today in the church. It's exciting. It's, it's good to be able to share about the story of Jesus, how he died on the cross, how he promised that he would live again and that his spirit would always be with us and in us. I want you to remember that, know wherever you go, that Jesus' spirit, God's spirit, is there within you. And that maybe you might try drawing half a circle to see if someone else will come up and complete that circle and you have the symbol of the fish. So as Jesus would say, go in peace. Go now in peace. Go now in peace and may the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Amen.